Sneemaster! Hi everyone, Sneemaster here with some brief ways to make money in Star Citizen when you're just starting out. If you're like many others, you'll probably only have the basic Aurora or Mustang package and nothing else. Maybe an Aventure Titan or Nomad package if you splurred a bit. When you first start, or after every death, your character will have a basic undersuit and a helmet plus a pistol with one clip of ammo. If you're lucky, you use someone's referral code and got an extra 5,000 credits on top of the basic 1,000 credits that most basic pas uh, packages have. Either way, it's not much, so what do you do? Well, once you choose a starting planet and spawn in your hab, the best thing is to make sure you have a bit more ammo for your pistol and maybe a Grey Cat multi-tool plus attachments. Depending on the planet you start on, you'll have different shops to get what you need, but it's best to try to find a Cubby Blast or Center Mass shop. They will carry weapons, armor, and ammo. The basic pistol is the Arc Light Laser Pistol, which uses energy ammo, and the ammo is cheap, often around 7 credits. You probably won't have funds to afford any armor or backpack yet, so let's just get started with this. Just remember, if you die, you will lose anything on your person, and if your ship explodes, then you'll lose everything stored on the ship too. When you respawn, you'll have a basic undersuit and helmet, but may not have a gun or ammo or armor, for that matter. Best to have backups or something saved away just in case. The quickest way to get funds are either with ship bounty missions or delivery missions. The basic ship bounties are fairly easy and don't require any extra equipment for you or your ship. The normal targets are small fighters, either in space or near a hab location, on moons or planets. Even a basic unmodified Aurora or Mustang can still fight the low-level threats for the low-level bounty missions. You will want to watch your shields when in combat until you can buy better shields, as the ships start with very basic shields and systems. You normally start with 4,000 credit bounty missions, fighting ships like Arrows, M50s, Mustangs or Auroras. You can do the missions back to back if you like to rack up money. Remember to restock any ballistic ammo or missiles, plus fuel you used when fighting between missions. Also, repair your damage. The easiest way is to go to the station orbiting the planet you are closest to and repair, rearm, and refuel. It costs money though, so keep that in mind. Eventually you'll gain reputation and get higher paying missions, but they will have tougher opponents. So make sure to upgrade your equipment or ship as soon as possible. You can make money very quickly especially once your reputation increases. The high threat targets can be very difficult, such as fighting a hammerhead, so be careful about those. There are on-foot bounty missions, but those are more difficult and you will want to hold off on those until you can afford better armor and weapons. Some missions will require you to get past some anti-air turrets first, and then take out multiple targets on foot. Others might be located in caves. Those anti-air turrets are very difficult to handle for starting ships. You will need to add more weapons and improve your shields, or get a tougher ship. Or you could try to sneak in there on foot by landing further away, outside of the range of the turrets. Once on the ground, taking out the infantry can be tricky with just a pistol and no armor. You can try to do them with a simple pistol, but you'll have to stay undercover as much as possible, and heavily armored opponents may take many shots to take down using the pistol. Make sure to bring some medical tools just in case you get damage. But you can loot those targets once you take them down, and so you can sometimes find some really good armor and weapons out of it. So on the whole, hold off in these types of missions until a little later when you can afford at least some ammo and weapons. There's also defense missions where you have to defend a location on foot, often with NPC support against other NPCs. Without decent armor or weapons, you can die very quickly and all of these missions are better done once you can upgrade first, because you can get a lot of enemies coming in. I recommend starting with a simple package delivery missions instead. Just go to one of three locations and pick up and drop off three boxes from shelves or from Kovalex delivery machines. You'll get an icon with numbers showing which box goes to which location. These are normally the safest and easiest missions. The only difficulty with those is that there isn't much space on the Aurora or Mustang. You can shove the small transport boxes in the cockpit of the Aurora, but they may bounce a bit, so be careful. The Mustang doesn't have easily accessed internal space unless you use a tractor beam to throw the box inside, but it can be done if you can afford a multi-tool. 
If you are able to buy an Adventure Titan, Nomad, or 100i, or something bigger, then you will already have some internal cargo space for boxes, so I recommend affording one of those ships in-game as quickly as possible. The delivery missions start fairly simply, but later you can find better paying ones that are more difficult. These often are located in racks of ships and can have interesting cargo, so read the mission explanations very carefully. For example, some missions have boxes that'll explode if you take too long to deliver them, or some that explode if you use quantum travel, so you have to fly conventionally, which can be tedious and take a while. Some boxes will explode if you simply shake them too hard. For all of these missions, Graycat multi-tools with tractor beam attachments can really speed up the loading process. Just watch out for the occasional evil NPCs hiding in some ships, or the new laser trip mines which will blow up if you touch the beams. After that, then you have mining. Check out my mining videos, but you have ship mining, hand mining, and ground vehicle mining. Hand and ground mining can be very profitable and doesn't require too much, but detecting the gems can be time consuming as they only show up in radar when you get very close, about one kilometer or less. For ground vehicle mining, you will need to buy a Grey Cat Rock or Rock DS and carry it to a location with a ship that can carry it, and then use it to mine some mid-sized rocks. Hand mining is done with a Grey Cat multi-tool and the mining attachment, so you'll need to buy them first. It works the same way, just with smaller rocks. Just sell the gems at any trading location on a planet or in refineries. Ship mining requires either a prospector or a larger mining ship, like the mule. You can even rent a prospector if needed, but you won't be able to modify it, so you'll be stuck with a basic laser. With ship mining, try to get the lancet laser as soon as you can afford it, as it'll help you break rocks easier. You can also sell the ore directly, or process it in refineries to get more profit. Refining costs money and takes time, but you can get four times the money out of the ore than selling the ore normally. It will require having a transport ship to carry the refined ore to a trade terminal on planets, but it pays very well. Depending on the ore though. If you find rocks with quantanium in them, then you can make a huge amount of money very fast, but watch out. Quantanium will explode and kill you if you don't deliver it to a refinery quickly, generally within 10 minutes or less. You can also refine it to make even more money. Quantanium is a bit harder to find, but the Aaron Halo, the asteroid belt which is surrounding the main crusader system, is known to have lots of it in the asteroids. There is also commodity trading. You simply buy lower and sell higher to make a profit. Habs that you find on moons can often carry metals or goods cheaply that you can sell at t city TDT locations for a profit. I recommend using the many online tools people have created to find the best places to buy and sell product. This type of trading works best with larger cargo ships such as freelancers, Mercury Star Runners, or even larger cargo ships like the Caterpillar. Buying in bulk is where you make your money. You can use small ships, but you won't make much money unless you carry illegal goods. Just remember, large ships full of cargo are vulnerable to pirates, so make sure to have a crew to man the turrets if you go this route, or else have a very fast ship, like the MSR. Server glitches can also be a problem if your ship is full and something goes wrong. Lately, CIG has put in a system to back up your cargo if a 30k error happens, but it only keeps track of what you have in the last 10 minutes. If you just recently picked up cargo and the server crashes, then you might lose it. Also, bad piloting or even wind can cause your ship to go boom, losing all your cargo, so be careful. Regardless of the issues, this method can make the most money if you have the largest cargo ships and can afford the cost of the cargo, so it's a good later game money maker. So those are the easiest and most common ways to make money in Star Citizen. I hope this video helps beginners and more experienced players alike. Let me know if you need any help. Okay, catch you all later.